Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome back to my channel. So my name is Sheila Sparkles, and today's video, I would love to talk about the Hermes, my Hermes journey. Um, I think it would be kind of useful at the same time is, you know, I want to express my feelings and my thoughts along this journey. So I have been shopping at Hermes here in Melbourne, Australia for approximately five months now. And actually four months with my current SA and she's so lovely. She makes me want to go and shop and shop. And I'm just, I'm in a bit of like, um, in a weird situation where I absolutely love the brand. Don't get me wrong. I love it to bits. And yeah, I actually have an unboxing. So yeah. So here you go. You've got an unboxing for you guys. So the first unboxing, I would say, before we get on to the journey. Um, yeah, if you want to follow me, Sheila Sparkles. I'd love to talk about fashion, luxury, and lifestyle. And yeah, I just, I feel like when I first started, I actually have to go through three different SAs because the first one, so there's two branches here in Melbourne, which I am so lucky to have because the first branch that I went to, the SA wasn't actually listening to me. He was just wanting to insist on a dress that he thought that I would absolutely love. And don't get me wrong, the dress was stunning, but I just wasn't, you know, I was not prepared to pay that amount of money during that day to buy a dress that I absolutely did not like. Like, I'll even insert the photo of the dress here. The dress was stunning, don't get me wrong, but he made me feel a bit unwelcome, and then he was just a bit, I don't know, like, I wanted the belt, but he offered it in this beautiful etoup color, and it's a very neutral color, but I just, I wasn't a fan. I, I, I'm sorry, guys, if you love neutrals, but it too wasn't my thing. I wanted a, a black belt or a noir belt in like silver or palladium, palladium or gold hardware. And he didn't have that. So he said, oh, you should have bought this. And I felt a bit off with him. And in the end, when I asked him to, you know, I bought some like cups and a cup with like saucer, you know, teacup, and it was nice, but I was, uh, it was such a turn off. And then the second time I went to Hermes, I was also, you know, like it was paired to an SA, which he was lovely, but I don't know, it's just the vibe, I, the connection wasn't there basically. And I felt like I went through the shop and I just didn't, I didn't feel very comfortable. Like he was just not... I don't know. Um, I mean, it's not his fault that there were no sizes for the boots that I, I think it was the Kelly boots that I was looking at. And that was during winter time here in Australia. So around June, July, so or April, maybe like, yeah, early June. And he was just, he was fine, but I didn't buy anything from him because I didn't feel that I was, we didn't connect at all, basically. And I just, I just wasn't feeling it. So I left the shop like defeated. And then didn't buy anything, didn't purchase anything. And then I gave it a go again to the same boutique. But this time, guys, I got so lucky. The third SA was actually very, very accepting. Like, she's a very lovely lady. And she was just, I don't know, I felt so comfortable with her. And we have the same sort of energy. And I felt more relaxed and at ease with her. Like she just made me feel welcome and she's just warm and just really lovely. So I bought like, um, I bought a scarf with her and then that day, and then I also got my, oh, and also I was looking for the Olymp ear cuff, which I actually have three of those ear cuffs here behind me. So this is the Olymp ear cuff. And... I bought like three ear cuffs uh, from her, but during that time I only got one ear cuff, which was in the like white or like nata color. And absolutely, I, I love it. Oh, that's the yellow one. Um, yeah, I got the ear cuff from her and she was so nice. And I just, I felt so much better with her. 
So yeah, and then now I'm on this journey now and I've been going to the shop almost every week. So every week or every two weeks, I would say. And I absolutely love it. Like, don't get me wrong, I've spent <laughs> so much money. But all the things, the good thing is with Hermes is they have a variety of things that I absolutely love. So like I have the Kelly belt and then now I've got some more stuff that I absolutely will wear. So I guess, you know, my advice for everyone would be to buy, to first set yourself up with an SA that you're very comfortable shopping with and that is actually caring and warm and has the same vibe as what you have because if you don't connect with that person, you don't really want to go back to the shop. Whereas I really look forward to seeing my SA in, in Hermes. So yeah, so we got here, this uh, This is actually new. So this is the silk scarf that I got from her recently, like just last week. And I also got the scarf ring and I'll show you an unboxing of that. And it's just, it's stunning. Like all of their scarves, like especially now, it's springtime here and the weather has been amazing this week. So I'm just, I'm just loving wearing this silk you know, um, the scarf, it is 90 centimeter scarf and I wore it as like a halter neck and I just, just tie it on the back and it's just, it's stunning. So let's do an unboxing. As you can tell, this box, if you're an Hermes lover, this is another scarf which I bought and here you go. I love the packaging. Oh, this is such a beautiful print. Look at that. So we have ourselves another 90 centimeter scarf. So yeah, I love the print. I love the design of this scarf. And I'm actually going to wear, wear this tomorrow because we're going to the zoo or I'm not so sure. Yeah, I think we are definitely going to the zoo tomorrow. So yeah, I love this the print of this scarf and it's just... The, the anime scarf is like no other in this world. It's actually really, really stunning, guys. Like, look at what I'm wearing right now. It isn't, it's just gorgeous. Um, what else? And then I also bought like a hat or a cap because I love hiking. So I will only buy things that I will actually wear. So yeah, so I've got a cap here, which I think is just beautiful and it just goes like that so yeah so you know gotta protect our face so yeah i'm gonna go hiking on the next few weekends from now so instead of going to the gym on the weekend i'm actually going to go hiking every weekend sort of we'll see about the weather but fingers crossed but yeah so that this is the hat that i got because i know i'm gonna get my cosplay wear out of this hat because I've lost all my hats, actually, like during, yeah, I think I've lost all of them, or I don't know, I've misplaced them during the process of, like, moving from New Zealand to Australia. So, I love this, this cap, and I know it is quite, like, it's not cheap, but I know I'm going to wear this, and I'm gonna, you know, make sure I get my cosper wear out of this hat, or this cap. So, yeah, that's... And I've also bought like perfumes and like gifts for my friends. And I think I am so close to getting my dream Coda bag, guys. Like we can, that's the thing though, but this is human nature. We always love what we cannot have. <laughs> so it's like, oh, I really want this bag. But, um, you know, I can't just get it from the shop. I can't just pay for the bag. Like, I actually have to go through this process. But luckily, I love everything so far. I love everything that I have bought. And I will wear these pieces. Like the scarves, I bought a ready-to-wear. I bought shoes. I'll show you the shoes. It was on my last haul video, luxury haul. So if you haven't watched that, please, I'll link it up here up above. Please do watch it. But these are the happy sneakers that I've got and I've worn them oh, so many times, guys. More than 10 times, I would say. So yeah, these are absolutely stunning. They are 100% leather and they're just, you know, they give you a bit of a height as well. So yeah, what I would suggest to people who want to start their Hermes journey is to look at the website, like the online website. 
because I find that that's what I do. I look at the website to check the prices before I actually go to the shop and like I am aware of how much because you know we all have budget guys unless you're like you know you've got like unlimited funds but I've got a budget and I try not to go overboard my budget so I actually research like oh how much these things cost and just like a rough estimate of how everything will cost and that actually gives me more joy and happiness when I shop because I don't have to like think or ask my SA like oh how much does this cost you know like I would love to know in advance like like how how much things are so the online shop is very helpful with that and also some pieces that the online shop has and I will just like sometimes I will so I don't just connect with my SA when I go to the shop I actually have her number as well so like her whatsapp number so i message her you know like how are you um you know i've used this like pair of shoes like thank you so much like something like a sweet you know message and also like if i see something that i like online i actually in like the scarves that i've bought i've checked it out and then i told her like specifically this one i asked her like oh do you have this scarf in, in um in stock and then she said oh yes we do and then we'll hold them for you until you get to, you know, to the boutique. And it's, it's the easiest way for me to shop is actually to go online because it's a bit overwhelming when you get there. Uh, there's just so many things. And I don't know about you, but for me, I like to do a bit of research when I, before I buy something. Like, I love to know, oh, how am I gonna wear something? Like, for example, I bought my first pink scarf, which I'll show you a photo here of how I wear it as a top. So I, I absolutely fell in love with it. That's why I have this now and then this. So this is my third like 90 centimeter scarf and I'm absolutely hooked because they're just so nice and they're very comfortable on the bod as well when you wear them. It's just amazing. Just for size reference, I am a size, I am an Australian size 6 to 8 or a US size 4 and I find this 90 centimeter scarf to be very easy to like tie at the back tie on the neck area for a halter neck situation i think it is such a good piece to have and it looks like a top but actually it's a scarf you know and it's like you don't only wear it as a scarf but also as a you know as like a dress or like as a top and yeah so we have another unboxing guys so today, I went and saw my Chanel SA. Now, um, the main reason, I don't know about you, but like when I shop at these luxury brands, I love to be with someone I can talk to for hours. Like, you know, like I'm there at the shop, like spending like an hour or two with my SA. Um, and I developed this relationship because I'm quite an extrovert. I'm a very chatty person. So my SA, she is absolutely stunning in Chanel as well. And, but she doesn't work there full time. So I have to constantly, like, I have to see her when she's there. So this day I was free and she was free. So I went in the shop, not thinking about anything because, uh, the new collection is arriving in two weeks, like. 23 whatever number it is now but yeah so this is just and also watch i might do a separate video of my chanel shopping you know vlog but yeah so we've got a chanel i've got a chanel unboxing for you guys so this video will be live before that one but this are stunning so again my sa she knows me quite well and we talk about life in general you know like both my hermes and chanel sa we talk about life in general so yeah, we've got here. So I'm going to unbox this with you. As you can see from the box, Chanel Lovers, you probably know what it is. But it is a pair of Tada sunglasses. They now have this like, previously Chanel have like their cases come in like leather. But now it's like this, I don't know, sorry to say, but it's like a cheap looking felt. But oh well. It's just a case, but yeah, there you go. You open this up and I've wanted this. I showed her a photo of this previously, but they didn't have it because in Australia, like stocks come in one by one for in Chanel and also in Hermes. So you really have to, you know, you, you need to have someone that can like 
assist you, like, you know, a, a sales associate that will, you can connect with. And look at the size, guys. Isn't it just beautiful? It is a stunning sunglasses, I would say. I love it. It says they're like Chanel and like colorful letters. And absolutely, if you don't know, I love me some colors, like in my bags, in my shoes. I love me some colors. So this just suits my personality, guys. And absolutely, I'm in love with this. So yeah, these are my new Chanel sunglasses. And hopefully I don't lose them because I'm quite notorious that way. So yeah, I hope this helped you guys. And if you want me to do like a detailed video of like my Chanel, uh, my Hermes journey and you know, but so far one, so yeah, so tips would be number one, find an SA that you really connect with and that you can actually talk to, you know, in a deeper level. And then um, tip number two, is to have to set yourself a budget and actually check online first before you go to the shop so that you kind of know what you what you want or what you you know what you're going to get and how much it would cost because you don't want to go overboard with your budget and then step number three is to know the leathers as well like if you're gonna say you know i want like if you're gonna do your wish list system I would recommend not to say the wishlist system on the first day. I would actually say it on like the third visit or like I said it to her actually on the third or fourth visit. Um, I don't know about you, but it's kind of, I think it's quite difficult like on the first visit to say that, you know, you want a, Bir a B or a K, a Birkin Kelly. So yeah, so are there any of this um, Coda bags? So maybe so fingers crossed the next video would be an unboxing of my you know my Hermes Coda bag but we shall see you know what is again guys what is meant to be is meant to be and if I didn't get the bag like this year I will not like cry over it I would be a bit ups I would be upset like honestly but I wouldn't cry over it because what is meant to be is meant to be and I don't I don't want to create drama and the everything that I have bought so far has been amazing like I've used everything like this top, you know, like the belt, the ready to wear pieces, my Picaton that I've, you know, my SA has um, offered me. So I'm, I'm just going to wait for the right time. And if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. So yeah, I think that sums up this video. So those are my tips. What another tip I could give you? Oh, and also I think if you really invest if you like it, you know, everyone already says that you should try to shop in all categories. But I mean, if you don't want to, you know, if you don't want a, a, a pillow or a anything, because I haven't actually bought a pillow or any of their, you know, towels and stuff, because I just don't feel like I need that in my house right now. So I would only buy what I absolutely love. And then there's no problem if you spend that money on things that you will actually use rather than buying, I don't know, like kitchenware that I would never use because you can't put them in the dishwasher. So buy things that you absolutely love and there would be no regrets. And yeah, and then the bag later on would just be a bonus, like my Picotin 18. But yeah, so there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this chit-chat video of my Hermes journey. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. And please, if you want to follow me on Instagram, my handle is also Sheila Sparkles. And yeah, if you please do like, subscribe, and join the family of luxury lovers and friends. And I will see you on my next video. Bye, everyone.